Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create a flight sheet for mining Ethereum in HiveOS on either a NVIDIA or a AMD mining rig or even a mixed rig. So before we get into the video, I want to make sure to ask you to hit the like button to help out the YouTube algorithm and recommending this video for more people so more people can learn about cryptocurrency mining using HiveOS and see how easy it really is. So let's get into the video today. So like I said, I'm going to be showing you one aspect of setting up a miner through HiveOS, and that will be creating what is called a flight sheet. Now, the flight sheets in HiveOS basically tell the miner what you want it to do. Your miner isn't going to do anything until you apply a flight sheet to it. The flight sheet tells it what coin it's going to be mining, where to send the coin, the pool that it's going to mine to, the miner it's going to use, and even if you go a little further, you can do some more configurations. But some people think it's kind of confusing, and I definitely understand it. When you first start with HiveOS, setting up a flight sheet is definitely really confusing. Um, so basically, what you do is once you have your account with HiveOS, this kind of assumes that you have an account with HiveOS and that you have everything set up on the miner and your miner is running. But uh, basically what you do is you come to the flight sheets tab here, and you'll be presented with this. Now you won't see this section, well, I thought it would highlight the bottom section. This bottom section here will probably be pretty empty because I have a few different uh, HiveOS uh, flight sheets here, but you'll see this top area here. And what you're gonna do first is of course, choose a coin that you're gonna be mining. Now this will uh, differ from whatever your mining is, what your preference is on your mining rig. Um, I'm going to be doing it for Ethereum because Ethereum right now is, of course, the most profitable coin to mine in most cases. Um, so that's what I'll be setting it up as. So basically what you do is you just select the coin of Ethereum. And then what you'll need to do is add a wallet. Um, what you can do is click this yellow button, add wallet. I'm not going to show you my Ethereum address in this video. Um, but basically what I have here is I have my Ethereum address for my atomic wallet on my laptop. Uh, basically what you do is you just go over there, you name it and you add the address. And then what it does is it just comes up like this, whatever you name it. Um, so now the next step here is going to be the pool that you want to set it up to. Now, you know, this will be whatever pool you want to run on. I personally run on HiveOS and uh, I run their HiveOn pool is what I use. Um, so then you'll choose the servers closest to you and you know, so, you know, you can set these on however order you want. Um, and you don't have to turn them all on. And right now it would be, it would connect to the Asian pool first, then the Russian, then Europe, then North America West. So uh, go ahead and say apply to that. And then if you need to change that, you can just click configure pool. And then the miner, again, is going to be up to you what you want to use. And it's going to depend on your rig as well. If you have just AMD cards, you can use anything with the AMD badge. Or again, if you have just an NVIDIA, you can use anything with an NVIDIA badge. You can run a rig with both NVIDIA and AMD GPUs on them, like my mixed rig, which has three NVIDIA cards and one AMD. It runs great on ETH miner. Um, and then my other just AMD one is running on Team Red Miner. But you can see there's a bunch of different uh, um, miners that you can use, which is really cool. So we'll just say, for example, we'll go Team Red Miner, and then you can set up the miner config. I usually leave this blank, just let it do whatever it wants. If there's issues in the, in the end, then you can come back and look at this. And then what you would do is name the flight sheet, whatever you want. We'll just say test, and then you would just say create flight sheet. It's really that simple. Now, one other configuration that I want to go over here is the, what I'll do is just refresh the page here, um, is if you wanted to mine to your NiceHash account, because it is possible to mine to your NiceHash. So basically what you would do is you would come in here and as you can see here, I have NiceHash Beam V3 popping up, but you're not gonna see that. You can scroll through this whole list and you're never gonna see anything about NiceHash. What you have to do is actually search NiceHash and you can see that it pops up with all the different algorithms on NiceHash. All you have to do here is just choose one of them. Like I said, I just went with, you know, Beam V3. It doesn't matter what one you want to go with. And then here, you can see 
that it automatically knows my nice hash mining wallet because I set it up to know that. That was just something I set up in the wallets again. So you would choose nice hash mining and the address that you put in there is the nice hash address that they give you on your account. From there, you would just say nice hash is your pool. Again, you know, choose your, your ordered uh, server connections. And then again, you choose your miner. Um, now again, you know, you just go with whatever you want there and then you can name it whatever. Like, you know, I have one here that's set up for mining Ethereum, nice hash mining. It's, that's just what I named it. So it's really that easy to get everything set up. So hopefully that kind of helps get you started in Hive OS with mining both to NiceHash as well as to a personal account using a third party pool. Uh, it's really simple once you kind of know how to do it. But if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like. If you have further questions about NiceHash, Hive OS, mining, flight sheets, anything like that, make sure to leave a comment down below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I will be doing a series of tutorials on Hive OS. Thanks for overclocking, setting up the rig, all of that. So make sure you're subscribed for that. But if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike and let me know why you didn't like it down below. Check out the Discord at the link in the description below. But other than that, please subscribe to my Bitcoin Tips YouTube channel to learn more about spending, collecting, earning, and investing different types of cryptocurrencies. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.